Hi everyone, welcome to Zaxtech. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of installing CyberPanel on Ubuntu 22.04. CyberPanel is a powerful control panel for managing web servers, and it's a great tool for hosting websites, emails, and more. So, let's dive right in. We shall be installing CyberPanel on a VPS running Ubuntu 22.04. Installing CyberPanel on a virtual private server VPS offers several benefits for web hosting and server management. While there are benefits to running a local server, such as full control and no reliance on external providers, using a VPS can often be a more practical and efficient choice for hosting websites and applications, especially for businesses or developers looking for reliability, scalability, and professional support. I will be installing CyberPanel on a Contabo VPS. Contabo is one of the popular choice for VPS hosting due to its competitive pricing, reliable services. If you are on a Windows machine you can use PuTTY to connect to your VPS. Since I'm on a Linux machine I will just use the terminal. Use the following command to SSH into your server. Replace username with your server's username and use your server's IP address. It's always a good practice to start by updating and upgrading our system packages. Use the following commands. Next, let's install CyberPanel. Run the following command to trigger an automated installation script. This script will then prompt you to make selections regarding the light speed version and any additional add-ons you wish to install. Select the version of light speed that you would like to install. Open light speed or open light speed enterprise. The main differences lie in licensing, support, and additional features available in Open Lightspeed Enterprise. Open Lightspeed is a great choice for small to medium sized websites or projects where an open source solution is preferred, while Open Lightspeed Enterprise is tailored for larger, mission critical applications that may require more advanced features and dedicated support, so you will need a license. In most cases, you simply need to press Enter to install CyberPanel with the default options. You can set a password here. We'll just go for the default now since this installation is just for the tutorial. You can change the password later. In a production environment, select yes. We'll select no since I'm in a testing environment. Even here, you should select yes. Choose yes to configure a watchdog. Following this, the installation of CyberPanel will commence automatically, so please allocate some time for the process. Typically, it may take up to 15 minutes to complete. This depends on the internet speed. Upon completing the installation process, you will encounter a screen displaying crucial information about your configuration. It is advisable to select and copy this information to a secure location for future reference. After the installation, it is recommended to restart the server. Once the installation is complete, open your web browser and enter your server's IP address or domain name followed by 8090 in the address bar. This will take you to the CyberPanel login page. Log in with the default username and password you entered earlier. The default username is usually admin.
In the Cyber Panel dashboard, you can now start adding domains and setting up websites. Click on the Websites tab and follow the prompts to add your domains and configure your websites. Select the owner of the website you can choose the default admin or create a new user. Enter the domain name for your website. Choose whether you want to use SSL for this website. Select the PHP version you want to use for this website. The default package on top you can create a new one if needed. Packages define resource limits for the website e.g. disk space, bandwidth. Click on the Create Website button. Also make sure there isn't a record in your domain pointing to the VPS IP address. You can click on Manage to manage the newly created website. You can can check files or upload files to your site from the file manager. Currently there are no files let us install WordPress to the site. Enter the website title, username and password as well as the email. WordPress has now been installed on your website. Let us now preview our WordPress website. That's it. You've successfully created a website on CyberPanel. You can go through the documentation and learn about the other many features offered by CyberPanel. Remember to regularly back up your website files and databases, and consider implementing additional security measures like firewalls and regular software updates to keep your website secure.